Welcome my friends to Distant Worlds Universe. We are playing as the core with the bacon mod and the dusk row mod and, and something I cannot pronounce. And I, I made a bit of a mistake during episode 2 I think. I was planning on setting up research. Unfortunately I was under the impression that it didn't work because it actually uh, wasn't showing. Uh, but I've been testing this and it is definitely working. Yes, it tells you he has no mission. Uh, it's a lie. It truly is. So once we say explore all systems over here and he will actually go and refuel. Let us um, hit the space bar here and do a, I think, control enter. And it does say it is researching the advanced beam weapons because that is the very first of the uh, options it gave and it is exploring system i5 so it actually is working and i'm quite happy with that i i doubt we'll uh, we'll see a lot of it so everyone is now looking into beam weapons and then i would like to go and uh, well, well actually you know what let's not be bothered by that let's uh, let's just wait do we now have warp i can't no no we are at 81 percent so during this episode we will have to retrofit our ships and do, well, off into warp, I'd say. It to boldly go where no one has gone before, especially the core. The core has always been the core and always been here and always will remain here. So there's definitely something here that I want to be investigating and we will eventually once we spread out. So let's take a quick look. What are my construction ships doing? So they're building mining stations and he's building a, a research plant, which is great. Now, apparently there's also an option for your, how do you say that? Um, for passenger ships to transport people from one place to the other. I should actually open up my, my sh a, a shortcut thing so I can actually see what the hell is going on. But uh, yeah, so 90 in power, firepower. Uh, well, we were not very lucky with that one ship. Although, this one ship doesn't... Is this a private ship? No, this is actually my... Yes, it is a private ship. Never mind. Um, they are now showing. Last episode, it, it wasn't showing these, these squared of blocks, I believe. Uh, luckily, it has happened now. So, we have discovered hyperspace technologies. Hell yeah. Finally. Now, even though you might not enjoy that, uh, we are going to be retrofitting all those uh, designs. All those, I mean, our two designs, manually upgrade. Let's do... Is this a Mark II already? Damn. Well, fine. We're going to be adding the warp bubble, the warp field bubble. There you go. And this will probably bring us... It doesn't bring us over. Ooh. But... Speed and speed equals we need a lot more power. The maximum size is 287, which is a darn shame. We'll have to uh, cut back on a few things. Oh man, even this is not enough. There actually is need for one more reactor to get up to the full capacity. And I don't actually want to be lowering the movement. Because it is quite important. Uh, but I think I might have to. Okay, let's go to 10. This will bring us precisely on where we need to be. In the future we will add more. But we need extra power. And we need a big, big ass hyper drive. I kind of want to change this though. What kind of design are you running? Um... Get rid of you. Yeah, you are running the Mark II. Mm, oh well, no changing, no need to change the name then. Uh, the construction ship is now going to be the Mark II, adding of course the warp field a bubble, and you have enough power. Oh, that's great news. That means we can actually keep you at the top of your game. 
Can we add laps on... Wait a minute, we can add laps on these? Can we? Well, it does boost our maintenance though, which is bad. Oh, we actually need to deal with this. Um, well, do we? Do we really? Maybe. It's just 90. They're not that strong. And we are going to be... You know what? We're going to be making our very first few defenders. Since we have not spread out uh, of our known galaxy, uh, we're going to be trying this. Uh, let's remove you. So this is my Century. It's a, basically, it's going to be my escort ship. I like the name, the escort, the Century. So we're going to be keeping it. We need to make sure that we have a warp field bubble on there. We don't have anything to deal with that. We Do we have armor? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't like these uh, frontal names at all. Because I just, I can't see. There is standard armor. So we can actually gear up here. Which is definitely nice. So we go to weapons. I would like to add... Because this is 16 in firepower. That's quite low. Can we add 4? It is not over yet. So hey, we can actually do it. And that makes it firepower 36. Making it a lot more defendable. And we're going to be doing standoff. We can actually do with missiles only. Uh, all weapons. They will move in very... Very closely, though. Uh, in terms of maneuvers, they're not so fast. Uh, well, I think it's going to be well enough for now. Let us try to add a bit more armor. At least until they say... Oh, wait, we need habitability and life as well. Oof. That go it could be a problem. There we go. There's the problem. We're one over. 50 armor. Oh, that's a joke. Let's bring these two down to two. We have the basic real guns. We have room for six armor. I think. No, it's actually a lot more. So bring it to a hundred. Can we add another weapon? Mm. We don't have too many though. Um, yeah, this this could work. It's very close range. But, yeah, sure, why not? We might even remove these in the future. But that is future talk. There you go. So, this is the maximum that we can have. We have enough power. We have our full speed. Let's save you, the, uh, the escort class, the century. And um, the sentry, not the century. And let's start making a few of those. So... Mm, uh, doesn't work like that. I need to find an easier way to do this. I know I can just order by this. But I have to get myself used to a different means of, uh, of building. Not the destroyer. We're going with the escorts. We're going to be one, two, three escorts. And these three are now in military ships. And you are going to be set to a new fleet. That is going to be the very first defensive. Home defense. Home. Defense. Wow. Caps is on, huh? Home defense force. And it's the weakest defense force we've ever had. But this is more than enough to don't worry about these guys, which I really, really like. So we're not going to be worrying about these guys. I will most likely automate this fleet. So let's unpause. Let's not worry about them just yet. Under attack by Space Lock. Of course, that is... Oh, wow, you're making short work of that. Can we add you to the home defense? Yes, we can. So you're now part of the home defense with a whopping firepower of 24. Doing a very, very nice jo job with those uh, space looks. And once that is done, are we having... 
we need to retrofit. You're going to be refueling and refueling, right? So we might as well go retrofit and retrofitting. Uh, let's go to our construction ships. Building, building. Mm. How much will you be building? I kind of want to do something else for you. Go retrofit. And same goes for you, retrofit. I'm going to be using one of my construction ships to get that cruiser. Because those pirates will most likely be very interested in it. And that could be a problem. And that is a problem that I would rather not deal with right now. Let's say your current target is this system and you are a defense. Any target? Nearby system, sector. Let's do system. Yeah, it works. And it is going to be automated. And there we go. We have constructed our very first military ship. The Sentry 003, which is a great, really nice. So, man, you look quite weird because there's three on top of each other. There's actually two on top, on top of each other. Yeah, that, apparently that works. So, we have warp. We have, we're starting to retrofit everything. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a sweet amount. Really, really lovely. Pirates offer protection. Ah, I don't think so. They're still at 90 and currently we're at 203. You do not scare us, you dirty pirate. Enemy targets we don't have. Retrofitting exploration ship has been done. This one's been done as well as... Well, we'll see. So, construction ship. They are going to be retrofitting and you are back to exploration. Look at this. That means that one is going to do I-5. Oh, the very first hyper jump, which is great. And uh, we know that we'll, uh, we'll get uh, someone. Could we just say, explore all system in H5 with you? So, go ahead, have fun. Have fun, mate. He is already jumping out, so all of the planets in our system have been explored, which I like. I really need to start working better on this. Uh, okay, you have no mission, and you now have warp. Okay, great. So let's zo zoom into our uh, system over here. What is this? Oh, there we go. We got some enemies, and they have a attack strength of 8. We'll let it, we'll uh, have the uh, the fleet deal with that. Let's zoom out a bit. Did that one ship disappear already? No. Okay, we're sending you over there, repiting the light cruiser. As for you, let's go to our expansion planner. And yeah, let's send you. Because these resources are rather nice. I really like that. So what is happening is if we keep the construction ships and perhaps even the exploration ships as small as possible. And I say that even though we have rather a large circle of the exploration ships, um, they can move out quite easily. So let's take a quick look at our fleet. Now there's not much going on, but I actually want to slow down the game a bit. So we have a power of 126. And let's see, do we have, what do we have? We have a ship captain, we do not have a fleet captain. We're going to be putting you on to... Um, in terms of survivability, we need to look who is the strongest, the home defense force. Let's see... Oh, definitely, yeah, you're going to be on board the destroyer. So, let's add you, our ship captain, to the destroyer, which is the Black Aggressor. Let's transfer uh, for you, and that will happen 
in about 20 days. So we're going to be waiting before we start the uh, the fight over here with these uh, mean, mean beasts. Uh, leave the fleet. I don't want that. So the fleet is currently automated, right? Based at... Oh, yeah, that might be good. We might want to base you... Let's see. The Lyceum. There you go. So they will defend this base to the best of their abilities. Uh, we can actually turn that on and off. Can we remove you? Thank you very much. Are we able to set lines somewhere? There are actually lines. So they are heading off to... Where are you going? Oh, you're my construction ship, huh? Man, look at this. Look, the speed is 24 of 29. I think that has something to do with the design. 24 of 30. So we're not reaching full cruise yet. And cruise is something that we uh, desperately need. Even though we have five iron thrusters. But that's uh, a thing that we can change with our... Uh, designs once we get better better engines better everything yeah quite like it do we want to investigate or actually invest in a few more science ships maybe now we have a bit of money here uh, I still want to go with the growth even though this is at 10 uh, 10% growth is not too bad. How far are you actually you're in, with the entertainment system? So, entertainment system, then we're going to be retrofitting our bases. Since we already have some issues with trade. Let's see, what kind of research do we want to do? I kind of think... We might look at this. Countermeasures is being researched. That's great. That is really nice. It's absolutely lovely. I, I really, I, I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, tracking would be nice. Colonization. Mm. What kind of miracles do we have? So actually going for the biological workshop might be something since colony development is 20 and the colony population growth speed is insanely good. Look, this is all improved to trips, improved to trips, standard medical bay. I would like to go over here. Let me know in the comment section if that is a good move. Till then, we'll go with some commerce. Uh, let's go, energy. So, we got larger ships very soon. I don't want to change that, but once we hit up with the accelerated construction, we're going to be upgrading everything on here, and we want to be boosting our shields. As for weapons, advanced beam, and then you'll go for... Oh, we don't need troops just yet. It is something that is uh, actually quite good to have. Let's increase our uh, missiles as well, seeing that these are, well, our main weapons right now. So, the game is still running. We're, uh, we're close to 20 minutes, wow. Ah, all of the ships are just going everywhere. So, how are you doing here, shippy? Kind of see, let's see. Uh, our fleet. Do you have a captain? Have you been transferred? I think it's... It was two more days? 24th, right? No, he's actually on it. So, we are at our fleet. Let's give them the order. A giant Kaltor encounter. Oh, look at that. They are attacking. Nice. That is really nice. Can they keep up? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they can't chase it. They're fast. He's faster. He is on an intercept course. <laughs> they need to. Oh, boy. Uh, he's close to dying, though. Uh, it's that we have those missiles that can actually reach. Uh, other than that, there's little we can do. Come on, engage. Start shooting. Entertainment system is the... Oh, he jumped out. So, what are you planning? What is... Something that you are going to be doing. Because there's one incoming over here. As long as they're on defending, I'm actually quite okay with that. There's one downside though. I don't think you have... Yeah, well, that's a problem. You don't have a hyperdrive. And I do not think I have all the necessary components. And you're way higher. Hmm. I think we might want to scrap the ship. And But we'll wait until we have the larger ship sizes. We might be able to change the, the size of the, the Eagle One. He has shields. Uh, we'll soon have shields. But also he has... Do you have sensors? Countermeasures. Which is something we don't have. Since we can't add them, add them. And we don't have the repair damage. Targeting systems. So all of these we would need in order. I don't think we can retrofit a warp field bubble on it. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll try so most likely next time. Guys thank you so much for watching. If you are interested... We're going to be changing the designs right now, or for protection again, go away, uh, of our bases. Especially the small spaceport, since we're not using all of it. Let us go and do... We could add armor. Like 300. Um, we don't have energy collection components, so that is not something that we can do. What we need is our medical station. If I can find that thing. Recreation station. And I knew that it had a bit of a wonky name. Yes, troops, there you go. That's the one. Those two we have. I don't think we have anything else that we want to have on here. We have 1100 in terms of cargo, which I think is more, more than enough. Let us add a bit of a crew quarter, a life support there, uh, boarding strength at 280. We might want to increase those. But like I said, I don't want to boost my maintenance cost up too high. And let us go and add some armor over here. It's 300 for everything that is small. We do want to change the location of one of these uh, things towards where we have a boost. But that is something we can do once we have shields. At least survivability wise it will do a bit better. Habitability. And life. Same goes for you. Add up to 300. Habitability life. And we'll, we'll be retrofitting these. Let's see. Let's go to private bases. We're going to be adding some armor over here as well. Also 300. It will boost up the maintenance cost though. Uh, which is well, a bit of a shame. But I think it will be... Very useful since it will be able to defend itself. They will upgrade it in uh, retrofit it uh, themselves. Wow, that was a bit more struggle than I was hoping for. Anything else? Private base, private ships. Oh, yeah, we need to add warp, field bubble, power, and at 200 armor, evade, evade, because it, they will only need to evade. So, 200 and 400 shields, I think, is more than uh, enough for these ships. Let's manually upgrade you as well. There you go. 200, 
200. Life, habitability, evade, evade, medium freighter, sure. We have two bulk freighters here. Oh, didn't want to do it, go away. 550, which is quite low, in all honesty. Oh, that's too much. 200. Oh, we need a reactor. One more, there we go. We should be at the top then. Habitability, of course, and uh, once again, live. The gas mining. Uh, also, they just need to evade. And their private ships, I don't want to give them too much. I don't want them to be destroyed right away. But I don't want them to... <laughs> Uh, be have well be better armed than uh, my ships. They they need to get in there and be able to get out as fast as possible. Another reactor and the I think it's the last ship I would need to change. So movement battle two hundred in armor. Definitely a reactor, and that is all. That is all. Well, guys, hope you like the retrofitting. I'll try my best to keep this going at the, uh, the the end of the episodes. As for now, thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.